This video shows how to install your own signature and company letterhead into Realty Juggler real estate software. The first thing I'll do is update my signature. I'll sign into Realty Juggler, click on the settings icon, then the preferences icon, and finally on the mail icon. This large text field is my signature. I'll include my name, title, company, and mobile phone number. I want to include icon links for Facebook and Twitter. I'll do that by clicking on the icons at the top and typing in my Facebook and Twitter links into the prompt fields. I can also adjust the font, color, and styling by using these controls at the top. For example, I'll make my name bold and my title italic. There is a second signature field called Alternate Signature. This second signature can be used if you want a different signature for printed letters. Since I included the links to Facebook and Twitter in my first signature, I'm going to create simpler signature for my alternate signature. I'll use my alternate signature for my printed letters. This field here is my return address. I need to make sure that this is filled out and accurate. Your return mailing address is required to send bulk emails due to federal regulations. Now that I have my signature configured, let's take a look at my letterhead. From the main screen, I'll click on the mail icon and then the letterhead icon. I already have a letterhead installed with my old company logo, but I need to update that. And I would like to add my portrait to the top of my emails as well. That way, the recipients of my emails will recognize me right away and be less likely to delete my email or mark it as spam. I can request a new letterhead or changes to my existing letterhead by clicking on the Install tab at the top of the page. I'm going to copy this email address, letterhead at realtyjuggler.com. If I send an email to this address, Realty Juggler will be happy to update my letterhead for me. I'll just attach my logo and my photo and send. Realty Juggler will send me an email to let me know they have received my request and will let me know when my new letterhead is ready to use. Once my new letterhead has been successfully installed, I'll return to the letterhead screen and click on the email tab at the top. And here is my new email header. The printed tab has settings of how my printed letters look. I can make adjustments by changing these dropdowns. Any changes I make are reflected in the preview at the bottom. I'll adjust the left and right margins. Finally, I'll check off the checkbox, Use Alternate Signature for Printed Letters. I want this checked off so I will use the alternative signature for my printed letters. That's the signature that did not include the Facebook and Twitter icons. I'll scroll down, and you can see all these changes are now reflected in the preview. The Labels tab allows me to specify default values for my printed letters and labels. I like to have the first line in the address bold, so I'll check that off. If your printer has a hard time printing right to the edge of envelopes, multifunction printers can sometimes have this problem. You can make the envelope top margin and envelope left margin values larger. But there's no need to make any adjustments to those settings if the envelope prints OK. Now that I've reviewed my letterhead and signature, let's send a single sample email to myself to see what it looks like. From the main screen, I'll click on the Contacts icon, click on the New Contact button, and fill in my name and email address. I'll click on the Address tab on the left and fill in my mailing address. I'll click on the Mail tab on the left and click on the New Mail button at the top of the screen. I'll leave the media as Email and the status as Pending, and the send date to two hours from now. I'll select from the To drop-down menu and then scroll to the bottom of the screen. That way I can pick one of the pre-designed letters from the library template drop-down menu. The graphical header and footer do not display here, but are added automatically when the email is actually sent. Let's see what the email looks like from Gmail. I'll click on the Get Sample Email link here, and then check my Gmail inbox. My email looks just like I want. The header and footer are there, 
the signature is there with those Facebook and Twitter icons. Realty Juggler also has a full e-card library. Let's see what an e-card looks like. I'll change the standard drop-down to e-card holidays 2020 and then select one of the card designs. I'll click on the get sample email link and check my email. Here's that email. The image animates and you can see my signature is filled in. E-cards do not include the graphical letterhead. That is because e-cards are considered more of a personal form of communication. If someone replies to an email sent from Realty Juggler, the reply goes directly back to your email address. Emails sent using Realty Juggler include an unsubscribe link and a return mailing address. This is to comply with anti-spam regulations. Realty Juggler also tracks complaints, bounce backs, and can even track if someone has opened your emails. There are a number of additional video tutorials which cover additional topics, such as printed letters, bulk email, as well as time-released drip sequences. These videos are located by clicking on the tutorials icon from the main screen of Realty Juggler.